What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Great weekend of boxing. I seen all the networks, um, NBC, Showtime, HBO. Shout out to all of them. Top rank, Golden Boy, main events, everybody, because this is what keeps the sport alive. I do have to call somebody out, call an entity out, and that's HBO, man. I had no problem with the fights themselves. I'm a true boxing fan. Some people are like, oh, this is a boring performance from Mikey Garcia. But I already explained in my post-fight Mikey Garcia, he did what the fuck he could do with the opponent and the level of commitment he had with his opponent, the end. Again, there's only so much you could do to force the fight. If one person wants to fight, one person wants to shell up, it's not much you could do. Look at Pacquiao versus Josh Clotty. That was a lackluster fight. And it was because Josh Clotty would not engage. He just kept staying on the ropes and, and blocking Pacquiao. I mean, there's not much he could do How if he's not opening up. He's not doing anything. Same thing, like I said, Nonito Donaire versus Nishioka or Omar Narvaez. They felt that power and, and they get they get timid. Guillermo Rigondeaux versus Igbeko. I mean, Floyd versus Canelo. I can think of countless examples where... A fighter seen a level of skill or felt the opponent's power and all they want to do is survive that's all they cared about um, aside from that HBO man it's like it keeps getting worse with the commentary I thought I don't know why but for some reason I thought maybe after Larry Merchant left that we would see an improvement not that I had anything against Larry Merchant but sometimes he would just make ridiculous statements and he's old and kind of deteriorating, decrepit a little bit. So he would um, have these long, drawn-out stories and just say some questionable things. I remember, I think it was Miguel Cotto versus Floyd Mayweather during that fight. And he was like, Floyd Mayweather is the hip-hop boxer. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? How is he the hip-hop boxer? What? Shut up. Shut your dumb ass. Wanted to turn into Debo real quick. Man, shut, shut the hell up. I got about $250. Anyway, um, so I thought after Larry Merchant left and went on to Greener Pastures doing whatever he does, um, it would improve, but it seems to get worse. It's like one thing I've been noticing for a big network, there's some mistakes in there. And we're all human. I realize it. I make mistakes. I've made mistakes on my channel and stuff. But one, I'm one person versus a network. I don't have people who should be, if you have a big network, I just feel you should be, you would have like a supervisor and this person and that person to oversee the whole operation to make sure, like if they have the fucking Grammys, they have someone that is in charge of the curtains, someone is in charge of the trophies, someone's in, and they have certain people in place. I'm a one man army, so not that it makes it any better, a mistake is a mistake is a mistake, we're all human, I get it, but for such a big production, so much money behind it, it seems like you would get your shit together i remember jean pascal last week um jim lampy was like yeah he has a face portrait shaved into the back of his head like that's the fucking world star hip-hop logo you dummy and i'm not expecting him to know what world star hip-hop is but clearly that's not jean pascal's fucking face it doesn't look like i mean it's the world star hip-hop for those of you who don't know it's a crown that's the logo the emblem for world star hip-hop so how could you confuse a Burger King crown looking haircut with Jean Pascal's face and say it's a face portrait like he did before in the past. Then this week, Andre Ward had some slip up, slip up the tongue. Andre Ward's my dude, so um, I still got to call him out on it. He kept saying Martinez at one particular juncture of the 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 fight with um, Mikey Garcia and Juan Carlos Borgos. He was like, Martinez needs to do this, and Martinez. So I guess he had it in his head, Rocky Martinez. And there is there's nobody who's checking the live feed or there's nothing I guess they could do because it's live. I mean, even if, if your coworker is making a mistake on air, wouldn't you correct them? It's like they didn't even fucking catch it. That's what I'm saying. Like, like okay, Andre Ward had a slip of the tongue. He was thinking about the wrong fighter or mentioned the wrong name. And he's saying Martinez, Martinez, Martinez. Wouldn't one of Max Kellerman or Jim Lampley notice it just to be like, oh, correction to what Andre Ward was saying. He wasn't talking about fucking Martinez at all. Um, he was talking about Garcia. 
So little things like that. There's three fucking announcers and you are dispelling information to the public. If one's making a mistake, why don't, why don't you rectify it or whatnot? Aside from that, with this particular televised um, commentary, just some shitty comments that they're saying. I feel like HBO says some shit that really downs and, and kind of belittles their fighter. Like, what what is the deal? Why would you do that? If if you have a talent like Mikey Garcia, why would you like question? Like, I mean, I'm not saying he's perfect because he, he he makes mistakes. He's a fighter. And for the life of me, I can't understand why it feels like they constantly belittle and down fighters who are fighting on their network, who they have a good relationship with. It'll be like DeBella or top rank fighters, and they don't say harmonious things about them. Like, I'm not expecting for them to not have any critiques on Mikey Garcia or whatnot, but they're all over Gennady Golovkin's dick because he's, he's an exciting fighter. He's a good fighter. I like him. I think he's hard to beat at middleweight. But there's other good fighters, and there's and truthfully, a lot of what is making Gennady Golovkin great is his amateur experience, and he has devastating power. But in terms of a, a technically sound, he's not doing some things that Rigondeau or Mikey Garcia is doing. He's running through people and just crushing them with his pure brute force i'm not saying he's not good i'm not saying he's not talented but they act like he's the greatest thing since sliced bread and he's a good fighter like i said i i'm a huge gennady golovkin fan but there's more to this life than power and they just get so intoxicated like andre ward was saying with power so uh, like fixated on power to the point where it's like they be little i feel if you're not swinging for the fences if you're not brandon reels mike alvarado and in that type of fight, and if both people aren't doing that, then they're not going to give the full just due credit. They're saying Mikey Garcia, oh, Max Kellerman said this. He said, not a great fight for the fans, though. You're a Rigondeau fan. You give him props. Yet, Mikey Garcia, you're saying it's not a good fight for the fans. I just feel like there's a lot of fuckery and a lot of brainwashing over there at HBO. Like, they clearly have agendas, and I've never seen it so apparent. They're talking about Mikey Garcia versus Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao hasn't even avenged his fucking loss. That just got signed today. The official Manny Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley just was officially announced. We heard it was coming, but it was just released that, hey, it's a done deal. You're already talking about Mikey Garcia, a fighter who is in a, not a great fight, fighting him. Like, just chill, man. Like, it's crazy to me. It's the, they have, like, an agenda. They try to brainwash the fans. If you're not Clubber Lang from Rocky Three, then they ain't fucking with you. And they, it's like they go out of their way to make comments. Just commentate on what the fuck you're seeing. Like, don't tell the fans, oh, this is a boring fight. And like I said, it's 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 kind of a gray area because I'm not telling someone not to be honest if, if it's not a great fight. It wasn't the most... Um, entertaining or thrilling fight i had more fun with the diary jean and lamont peterson fight because there was more sustained action and that kind of stuff so i'm not saying don't be honest but do you always have to constantly bash fighters on your network it's like if i'm a drug dealer and i got weed i'm not going to tell the people who want to buy the weed like yeah it's, it's not going to really get you that high i don't i mean it, it's it's kind of it's some it's some dirt it's not really what you what you're expecting but i mean it's cool for the price like that's not how you sell things you have to be as an announcer for a network as a commentator you have to probably even embellish make it sound appealing make it sound fun don't brainwash the fans and you you're basically encouraging the booze you could watch wrestlemania and look at jerry the king lawler or something like that someone will oh he jumps off the rope you know what i mean they give you that energy and it doesn't matter the rock hit him stone cold with the stone but they're screaming and they get really into it and it it helps for the fans because the fans buy into it when stone cold steve austin was stunned he'd be like he just stunned bitch mcmahon and they, they're going they're ecstatic they're they're you hear it but with hbo they're not doing that they're like 
Oh, Mikey Garcia, it's not a good fight for the fans. Oh, I wonder if fans are going to still buy tickets. It's sold out right now, but are they still going to buy tickets after they've seen this performance? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? They say dumb shit like that. And I don't see how that really supports or keeps the sport of boxing alive. To me, that's encouraging the people to continue booing. The people who are booing probably don't respect boxing. And like I said, Mikey Garcia, there's only so much you could do to force a fight without fighting a fight that's not responsible. Mikey Garcia, yes, he could have started swinging for the fences, not cared about his defense, and probably got Pacquiao forward in the fight with Marquez versus Pacquiao. Pacquiao thought he was winning, he got overconfident, and he got slept, and he was out. <laughs> Sleep. That's not a good look for Mikey Garcia. They're talking about a Gamboa fight, a Pacquiao fight. Why the fuck is he going to do that when he's clearly winning? Why is he going to take unnecessary risks against a rangy veteran who can be cagey? He showed you that in Rocky Martinez fight. It makes no sense. And then for you to bash him, try to stick to mostly what you're seeing. Like, not all just opinion. Be like, oh, that was a good body shot. That was this. That was that. Not, oh, I wonder if the fans are going to care about this. Not a fun one for the fans. And then Max Kellerman, I, I can't. I used to really like Max Kellerman. I'm not saying I don't like him now, but it's hard to get a read on him. He always talks about Guillermo Rigondeaux, who puts his opponents in the same predicament, yet he's saying this one's not a good fight for the fans, but I've seen him talk about Rigondeaux with respect. So, I don't know, man. I just feel like if you're not Kovalev or Triple G, and you're not knocking heads off even Adonis Stevenson, if you're not knocking people out, Every single time, it's like they don't care about it or they're not going to big you up. They're not really going to say anything um, that helps your credentials or, or helps build your fan base. If anything, they deconstruct and they take away from your fan base because the potential fans who are on the fence like don't really know boxing but possibly would get into it. They, they're not going to buy into you because they don't really know about the sport of boxing. And then the people they look to, the representatives of boxing, aren't saying good things about you and as far as like jim lampley you look at jim lampley the motherfucker got his own show so he can spew even more bullshit hypocritical shit like they gave this motherfucker his own show like i would i'd rather see anybody else have the show than jim i think roy jones jr i think max kellerman i think i'd rather see emmanuel lewis with the fucking show i mean i don't give a fuck who it is i'd rather see anybody have their own boxing show it could be Screech. I mean, Screech fought in that celebrity boxing event, Butterbean. I don't give a fuck who it is. But Jim Lampley doesn't need his own show. For God's sake, he has the Arturo Gotti list. Now, rest in peace to Arturo Gotti, true warrior. You gained a lot of fans while you were here on Earth. But realistically, what the fuck is the Gotti list? Gotti list, he got pieced up by Floyd Mayweather. And I'm not, I'm not even trying to disrespect. I'm just being 100% real. Mayweather obliterated him he has classic fights like the the fights with ward you named a list out of him it's like you're you're trying to get brownie points or whatever because he's no longer here you're just like oh the Gotti list you don't know like Gotti lost a lot of his big fights if you i think he, i mean i don't know man i don't even want to get into like that because i'm not trying to disrespect the dude but you made the Gotti list like he's just the quintessential end-all be-all of boxing yeah he showed heart he has tremendous spirit and um, didn't really give up. But look at, like, look who you're talking about. Like, that's like me having a segment on my channel, the Pazienza list. Yeah, the Vinny Pazienza list. I mean, there's a lot of guys with fucking heart and, and a chin or, or a warrior spirit. I mean, we could do this all day. You have a Gotti list, man. I don't know, man. This is crazy. Let me know what you guys think of HBO. I'm finding Showtime's commentary a lot more unbiased i mean to a degree there's always going to be a level of bias but they don't make it as um flagrant i guess you could say it's like if a fighter hits you low and it's just kind of on the belt line a little bit under the ref might that might be passable ref might not call it but if you do like miguel Cotto was doing to zab judah and you're like punching him in the dick that's something different that's so flagrant it's too obvious and that's exactly what HBO is with their commentary. They're Miguel Cotto punching Zab in a dick. And I'm out. As always, hey, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.